Hello guys, as I'm making this tutorial for the third time due to certain er errors in the display of the object. So yeah. Uh, uh, in this in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you how to make create a basic game like there's this there's this track and there's a player and the player is able to move on this track using the keyboard up down left right and that's what we are going to cover we are going to use blender 2.79b <laughs> and i'm going to use armory engine we i'm sorry we won't be covering the getting started part you have to download your your you have to download it yourself using like google it there are already a bunch of videos out there when you have downloaded it let's we'll get started like this is the first video you'll watch or else i'll make a prequel until this is the like i'm to make a fourth video or something which i'm not really planning to so if i make a fourth video i might start with the getting started part but right now Ah, this is my third video. I'm not joking around. So I called it Armory Blender. And it is, has loaded into my another monitor. I'm going to bring it here. Yeah, big screen, big big space. So yeah. As you can see, I already made two of them demo game, demo gamer. But yeah, not a problem. I'll make another one until it's right for you guys. So, okay, let's delete the head cube. Okay, this is the default workspace, and we are going to switch to cycles. Blender render is the older render engine of Blender, which is outdated. We are going to use cycles and yeah let uh, let's press the x key to delete the we are going to use shortcut keys because they are if you are like working really fast you really need shortcuts you can always access things from here and there but short shortcuts comes and comes in handy press x to delete the cube shift a to add a mesh we are going to add a plane here and we are going to scale the plane in the in the x direction as we are making our track and let's scale it a bit more Okay. yeah it looks good to me as you can see here we are in the object mode and we are going to go to the edit mode now press and then and then you press w to subdivide that plane so as you can see the plane was divided into four parts we are uh, in the like th this is the vertices this is the edges and this is the face select mode we are going to faces so you can see more much better i am pressing a to deselect everything so as you can see this is one face this is second third and fourth face oops so um, press a to select it again the whole of it like a is used to press to select and deselect but in the recent beta version this has changed to all day and we are we i'll make another video for that for the beta version press w to subdivide the plane into more parts press w again and press the subdivide i think these are 64 one two one two three four five six seven eight yep these are i guess 64 blocks i think these will be enough mm. So hold the shift key and select the path like whatever you want. In the 
any zigzag path will do. So that would be my exit. Like this. Yeah, looks good to me. And so yeah, right. So um press the E key to extrude it out like this. It, now it has uh, it is it has risen above the like plane that what extrude means. I was not able to explain it in the first radio what is the meaning of extrude then the second one got blooped and stuff yeah so we are on the third one i think even this is going to be a trial as i am not really good with video editing and i would have put my face over here or there <laughs> using webcam so yeah uh, uh let, let's color it um like i want my track to be of black color so press this press new and we are going to color select a color from here i want it to be i want my i want my track to be a black color actually so yeah i am going to press assign i'll okay i'll leave that first press a and select all the mesh here and then uh, make a new material and let's uh, let's make it of bluish color I don't know why but yeah I like it so yeah and then press the sign and now you can select it again i know this looks a bit tedious and i did it more efficiently in the previous video but let's do it anyway there are shortcuts for selecting the face but press the shift key and i'll tell the shortcuts in the next video or later in this video and select the black color and press assign that select the assign button uh, press the combination of shift plus z to check the colors you will be thinking where are the colors in this shift plus z it is um it is looking pretty decent actually i'm making it right so uh, let's make a player now shift a okay let's first get out of the edit mode let's go to the object mode and add uh, add another mesh shift plus a is the shortcut key and let's add a cube oh the cube looks so big big cube like hong kong destroying the entire track scale it down press the s key to scale it down uh, if i want to scale it in a, in a certain direction the, uh, I'm sell S for scaling and then the direction like X. I want to make it big or scale it in Y like this or scale it in Z like this. So I'm scaling it down in the Z direction, like, like giving it a look of car or something. And scaling it in Y. No, 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 no. Scaling down in Y. No. Control Z to undo that. Scaling down in Z. And scaling in X. Yeah. And I want my player to be of red color, so I'm going to press new. And in cycles. I'm going to give it a red color. As you can see, the surface here is diffuse. I want it to be like a bit shiny from the rest. So I'm going to go a bit glossy. Um, and 
Trixie, but there it is. I'm missing the G, G's for grab and the X combination to place it properly. Now it is at the start of the track. Killing it down in the Y because we made the track a bit too thin in comparison to other tracks. So, yeah, uh, we are going to keep it down a bit. So, Let now let's add now let's control the player and let's uh, we are we have divided the workspace into two parts. It was already divided, but this is the timeline which we used for animation and uh, like this is the timeline. I we want to go to the node editor. I think I have to record it again because I am. I was recording it in low quality for the demo, but now I think this can be the final video. I still don't know. The next video will be in a much better quality. So, yes, right. Let's select the node part, select new. Let's call this player controller like I've done in the last two videos, which is still on my computer. Actually, they are not. <laughs> yeah. I've pressed shift plus A. Okay, let's press add. Let's add a node and input. I want my player to move. I want to move my player from the keyboard. And I want to press the upward key. This I want to be down. I am going to tell the use of all these three later on, and then shift A for the for the action. I want what what is the action? I want to move my player. So translate on local axis. Uh, and select the cube. Select give it a speed. I am going to give it point eight seven. Or something like that we can increase it let's go with i don't know this work for the last time like this is my right this is my off this is my down it was like i'm my directions are a bit opposite like i have started making the game like that you can select any one of these like the ones which seems to be fit for you and let's attach the script Press on the cube here, select a trait. Uh, here it is. We are using armory if I haven't told it before. Press the plus button, select on nodes, and it is called player controller. So, yep. There's that. Let's see if it's working or not. Press the F5 key. Oh, yeah. First, we have to save the blender file. We didn't save it. Oh man. Let's call this demo game. If it won't work, I won't. I'll make another video like tomorrow, not today. I had had enough. One point no. Save the blender file. Now let's. Go to the render tab, press on the play button. Let's see, it is still compiling. Now it will be displayed on an under monitor. Let's wait for a few minutes. It shouldn't take that much time. Yep, here it is. Oh, we didn't place a camera and it is not black. I'm colorblind. Sorry. 
to place the camera from where you are seeing like if you are here or here you can press control or zero and adjust the camera accordingly I think I'm really tired. I'm pressing G and the combinations of X, Y, and Z to adjust my camera. I didn't really learn the adjusting my camera part properly. I hope you'll do much better than me. But yeah, I can give you a kickstart. That's why. So, yep. I've selected the cube. Let's control this and save the file. Play it again. Yep, it is here. Yeah, it looks good to me. Let's press the... Oh, the speed was too fast. It, it... <laughs> Shit, it went away. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... 0 0.087 or something like that. The speed should be that and I didn't like the color. <laughs> I want my color to be like more of like reddish red. I don't know. It was not standing out. Like, I want my player to be well dressed. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, let's try playing it again from the render tab. Play. It's compiling. Then it will be displayed on the another window. I'll drag it down there. Oh, yeah, it's there. It looks a bit better. Yeah, I am pressing the upward key and it is going backwards, so I press inverse. My directions are a bit messed up. Press the play button again. So, yeah, I can connect that. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So next we will continue in the next video. This is the basics and this can get you get started. Please like, share and subscribe. This is me signing off.